If you're watching this video, that means you are equally, if not more, excited for upcoming survival horror game Sons of the Forest. And lucky for you and I, it's just around the corner. But with the game releasing in just a couple weeks on February 23rd, people are getting a bit antsy. Sons of the Forest was already delayed multiple times, I'm pretty sure. It was supposed to release in October. And with the continued scandal of MMO survival game the day before, tensions are high in the survival community. During this time, Ed Knight Games, the creator of Sons of the Forest, was somewhat quiet, releasing some gameplay here and there that are really cool and it was bolstering the hopes of us veteran The Force players, but nothing too crazy about the release date itself, until February 3rd. They posted on their Steam page and also on Twitter a message that is mostly positively received, including by me, but did raise a few concerns. They said, hey everyone, it's been a long journey since we first started Sons of the Force development and it's grown into the biggest, most complex game we have ever made. There is still so much more we want to add add items, new mechanics, gameplay balance, and more, we didn't want to delay again, so have instead decided to involve the community in the continued development of this project and keep our February 23rd release date, but instead release in early access. The Forest turned out to be a massive success due to mostly the awesome community and the suggestions, feedback, and bug reports the players shared with us. We are really excited and hope that players want to come on this new journey with us to make this the ultimate survival horror simulator, the team at End Night. The community has given their overall blessing, I think, that this is acceptable and most are just excited to experience what is available for them to play. But there is quite a vocal minority that are not so shy in voicing their opinions on this either. Most don't have a really good argument, I don't think, but understandably most of their vitriol comes from being burned time and time again by games requesting EA players to pay full price for a project that either never finishes or just doesn't live up to the hype. Personally, I may feel the same, but I do think that N Night Games has earned some good faith currency because of their previous game, The Force, which was also an early access game, but quickly became a household name and staple in any survival gamer's Steam library. Of course, it must be said that developers are notoriously bad at estimating an appropriate release date. This is because they don't anticipate issues arising, how long those issues will take to fix, the scope of the game, the general length of tasks altogether, etc., and and Night Games is no exception to this general rule. I am still looking forward to playing The Sons of the Forest even as an early access title, and I am also kind of bummed that I won't be able to experience all it has for us immediately. But there aren't many good studios out there for us survival enthusiasts, and End Night Games is one of them. Even though they have their flaws, it will take more than a couple of delays and a release into early access to turn my attention away from them. Leave your thoughts though in the comments below, subscribe if you made it this far, and have Happy surviving, path out.